Norris, I told you not to come back here. You stay away from her. Tell her? Nah, I was going to, but she had to go in for dinner. Started to write this note, but I didn't get a chance to finish it. Chad, you can't keep writing these letters. You have to speak up eventually. I know. I know. How many times? How many times are we going to have to go through this? I simply cannot have a daughter of mine running around after some low-life county employee. I just, I just can't. He's not good enough for you, Rachel, and you know it. Why are you the one to say whether he's good enough for me or not? I mean, let's just be honest. You're just worried about him ruining your public image and your perfect campaign. This is not about my re-election campaign, and you know it. Now, I admit I've got an image to uphold, but so do you. Every time, every single time I come home, I find you skulking back to the house after meeting that, that boy. And I don't like it. Jared is good for me. I just don't know how much longer he's going to be able to deal with you. He hates the way you treat me. He hates his job. I don't know how much more he's going to be able to handle. Well, I can't blame him for that. Digging ditches in the blazing hot sun every day. That's no way to live. What are you going to do, Rachel? Drop out of school and go run off and live with him in the dirt? I don't think so. Not my daughter. At least I'd be happy. We can't be any later than 12 noon, all right? Apparently, they need me to work a 10-hour shift. Plus, we have to find a place to crash once we get there. What about my job here? Can't just leave. What, you think they need resumes from ditch diggers? No. Lighten up. I, I feel like you're questioning whether or not Rachel would actually come with us. I mean, that girl loves you. And yeah, it may not be an ideal scenario, but beggars can't be choosers. I need this job. For me and for you. Yeah. Sure, I just... I just don't know if she would come. You know? Give up her life here and come live the hard life with us. I need to write one last letter. Rachel, I tried to tell you yesterday, but I couldn't get up the courage. 
Lyle and I have to leave tomorrow. He got a job in Little Rock, and they need him right away. Come with us. I know your dad will do everything he can to stop you, but I don't care, and I hope you don't either. Meet us in the gravel lot at 10 this morning if you decide to come. I love you. Jared.